Yes, Mr. Beckham, we are doing very well in the league. I reckon so too. I reckon we'll make the playoffs by the end of the season. I mean, that's a no-brainer. Yeah, it is a shame Messi's not scoring. You want me to get him to score in this episode? Might be a, might be a bit of a push, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Hi folks, welcome to part three of Making Miami Great. I'm Russ, coming today we have two league games, you both of them at home as well. We're taking on New York City, who are in seventh place in the first game, and then we have Chi-Town, Chicago joining us for the second game. Chicago are currently fourth in the league, so it's teams around us where we should hopefully pick up points, if not, we should draw. Since you guys were at last with us and you saw the Orlando City and the Miami game, we beat Nashville 3-1. We then lost 2-0 to Houston. We knocked Orlando City out of the Open Cup, the US Open Cup. We beat them in extra time 2-1. Lost to uh, Real Salt Lake. We lost 5-3 there. We then beat New England 2-0. Minnesota United 2-1. DC United in the fifth round of the US Open Cup. We beat them 3-0. And then Orlando City... They, 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 uh, yeah, they beat us. They, they got one over us, beat us 2-1. All in all then, you, you had a quick glimpse of the league table. This is what it looks like here. We'll go to stages so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see. We are fifth in our group at the moment. We're doing quite well. 14 games played, 8-1, 6 drawn, 25 scored, 23 goals conceded, 24 points on the table. We're only three points ahead of Toronto who are in 10th, but I think we have enough about us. To finish within these top nine places, I'm hoping going to be in the top eight that, as we went through the rules before. Ninth place plays, uh, I think they play one of the teams along here somewhere. Eighth and ninth place, something like that. Somewhere along those lines to make the 16 up. We want to finish top eight, top seven maybe, I guess, to get in and miss that spot there. As I said, Mr. Messi isn't scoring that many goals for us. You have the conversation with Mr. Beckham. Where are you, Messi? There you are. You have only scored... Two goals all season, which is not enough. Uh, I say four goals if you include the the, um, the cup there. It's not good enough. He needs to be scoring more goals for us. He is the star player. And if you're earning 325k a week, I expect a lot of goals from you. And you're the captain. So that needs to change in this game here. So let's jump straight into the New York City game. The team we're putting out there for this one is Grief in Goal. A back four of Alba, Freire, Christoff and Frey. Busquets in this deep line playing maker role. Just in front of him is Redondo. We shifted it up a little bit there. Taylor on the left. Farias through the centre. Messi on the right. And Suarez leading the line. Suarez, again, isn't someone who's scoring. Hasn't scored yet in the five games he's played for us. I'd like to, to turn around now and score in this game. Or, I mean, maybe we'll get rid of him. Maybe we'll get rid of Messi. Mr. Beckham won't like that because they are there are MVPs at the end, aren't they? They are the best players at the team. Let's say we should be winning this match. And let's get this game kicked off and things going here at the stadium. I can't actually remember what stadium what the stadium's actually called. Uh would it say it around here somewhere? It does not. So I mean suppose we could just click on this guy. No, you want to click the player's name. You want to click into Miami, Russ, and then you want to click on the stadium, which is there. Um, where's the name? Chase Stadium. There we go. Chase Stadium. We play at Chase Stadium. Chasing trophies. What is Jordi Alba done there? Absolutely dreadful throwing. Just giving it straight to New York City. You've lumped it down the pitch. We've got it, though, with Redondo. Feeds it into Taylor. Left-hand side is Jordi Alba. Into the box. Puts it across. There's Messi. There you go, Beckham. There's your goal. You want a Messi scoring in this episode? We have got one. 16 minutes on the clock. Into Miami 1. New York City near. What does that do to the table? Puts us up into third. Two points behind Charlotte and Cincinnati. So I reckon we can catch them. I really, really do. As long as we don't lose any more games, we'll win the league. But I suppose you could say that about anything, can you? If you don't lose any games, you will win stuff. Because you're not losing. You're just constantly winning and defeating teams and picking up points in, in being the best team around. And that's what we want to be come the end of it. We've got three minutes of time added on at the end of this half. There goes the halftime whistle. 1-0 to us. Lovely, lovely stuff. We can definitely shift it up. Suarez ain't paying too great. Farias isn't paying great either. We'll give them another 15, 20 minutes like we normally do. To see if they can turn it around, get themselves on the score sheet, or at least contribute in some way to the match. And first 10 minutes of the second half, they've offered absolutely nothing. We haven't had a shot yet. 
for we've got a highlight now and it is with New York City they've shifted to that left hand side we should be doing better there our right back should have stepped in to win the ball he's not they've worked it through us shifted it back out to that left hand side into the box the uh, Jordi Alba's put it out for a corner hopefully we can defend this one well we're not actually going to we're not actually going to see it because it was a poor corner and we're going to do some substitutions now 64 minutes on the clock Suarez is bad Farias is bad as well, so we will bring on Borgelin for Suarez. Uh, who are we going to bring on through the centre? I'm thinking Kramashji comes on, swaps with Messi, and we go with this. Could this get the best out of Messi? Could we get a goal out of Borgelin as well in the build-up? We shall see. 70 minutes on the clock. Tired legs out there. Very, very tired legs out on that pitch. Let's just make some substitutions now. We might as well make all three of them. So we're going to bring on... Sailor's going to come on for... Uh, Christoph. Negri can come on for Albert. Left back. And then for my last trick, we will bring on... Um, Aviles for... Free th What's his name? I can't even pronounce his name properly. Frey. Ferrier, somewhat along those lines. He's a lone player. He's not going to be paying for us next season. That's all the substitutions done. We've got about seven minutes left to go. I think we're going to hold on. I really do think we're going to hold on to this slender lead goal from Lionel Messi. 16 minutes on the clock. And that's been it. It's been a pretty boring game. Although we have a free kick here. Messi puts this one towards the edge of the box where Sailor is. Whips it in towards that back post. Borgia line heads it along. Messi's picked it up. Puts it in. It's been cleared, but there goes the full-time whistle. Three points to Miami. Lovely, lovely stuff. Pretty bad game. Um, that's what I'm going to say to them, because they do need to step it up. And I'm also going to do some individual things. That, I mean, let yourself down. You let yourself down as well. Um, is that it? Bad performance-wise? Yeah, Jordi Alba got an eight, so maybe we give him a little bit of a praise for that one. Um, well done, lad. Fires them all up, gets them ready for the next game against Chicago, who are in fifth. Uh, two points behind us. If we win this game, let's say oh, it's not going to be a game in hand because they're on 16, but if we win this game and everyone else around us loses, we could find ourselves top of the Eastern Division of the MLS. Lovely, lovely stuff. The shortest of breaks in between games, I think it's been like three days in between playing New York City and playing Chicago, so we have had to rotate the side quite a lot. A lot of players aren't ready to play, so the team we're going out with is Grief in goal. A back four of Negri, Christoph, Alaves and Neville, Redondo at the base midfield, Gomez in front of him. Uh, Kremeski, Morales and Valencia supporting Suarez up front. Messi's not even on the bench because he is not fit. I guess when you're 36 years old, you can't play week in, week out at this level. Suarez, he, he, he played 60 minutes in the last game. That's why he's starting in this one. I'm hoping he's going to show us what he can do. Show us that he can get some goals. Show us that he's got goals in him. And these other players that come into the team that don't normally play, maybe they can show me a little, a little something different so they can cement some places down as Morales has this ball on this left hand side we've gone back to our defence for now now back into the goalkeeper we need to find some space where is the space on this right hand side with Neville touches that forward into Gomez he's going to have to go back retreat and start again back to Neville right hand side Redondo's got a little bit of space space opens off on the right hand side for Valencia to float that ball in trying to find Suarez Suarez touches it to Kremeshka Kremeshki I don't know how to say your name, Sunshine, but you scored for us, which is lovely stuff. And Suarez got himself an assist. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. 1-0 to Miami. 12 minutes on the clock. And I'm hoping it's not going to be like the game against New York City where we scored early. And then nothing really happens. I kind of want to get a couple of goals in this game. Get at least a goal in to Suarez. We've got an attempt here. negri has got a throw in left-hand side. Redondo's now received the ball. Didn't know where to pass it. He's had to pass it forward in, and then it's received backwards. Redondo again. He's just dictating play in that playmaker role. Kromeshki, goal scorer. Into Negri. Floats it into Gomez. Heads it to Suarez. What did you do there? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> what what did I just see? He had the opportunity to put it towards the goal and he didn't. He completely air kicked it. Got a penalty there. 
We've got a penalty now. VAR is going to be looking at this one. This could be an attempt for Suarez there. If it is a penalty and Suarez can score it, that would be his first goal in the pink of into Miami. And it is stepping up from it is Suarez, number nine. Go on, Luis Suarez. Steps up and he does score. 2-0. 32 minutes on the clock. First goal of the season. First goal for into Miami, as I said, for Luis Suarez. Can he go on and build from this now? Is that going to be the catalyst that gets in goals? I'm, I'm hoping it is. I'm hoping he's going to just kick on from this and score more goals, although he's got a corner here. Oh, he's trying to go for another assist. Redondo can direct the header towards goal. Goes past the post. Out for a goal kick. Highlight ends it there. And we've got another one. Negri's going to put this one. He's on and he's had a knock, though, so he's going to have to come off. Redondo's under it. It's gone back to the corner taker. Oh, what a goal that was. Santiago Morales. First goal of the season for him, and it's an absolute screamer. 3 0 into Miami, and we're going to go into half time with our heads up as high as they can be. Where are we in the table? We're third because everyone, the teams around us are winning as well. 3 0, lovely stuff. Happy with the shots so far. We do have to make some substitutions, though. So Redondo's looking tired. Ruiz can come on for him. Negri's fine. It's a lower leg injury. I'm hoping it's just like a cut or something. I don't really have anyone on the bench who could replace him. So we'll have to have a look at this around the 60 minute mark. Then make those changes. I'm hoping it's not going to affect him too much in the game. I know he's let Chicago back into it. I don't think they will get into it. It's been all us so far. Negri's committed a foul. Is that because of the injury? Because of the fitness levels? Maybe we'll take him off now. Who can play there though? You can, sort of. It's very, very awkward. Ryan Saylor? No. Tyler Hall? Tyler Hall? If I can click him? No. What about Frey? No, he can't play the Reaver. So it's going to have to be... Uh, Freyer coming on for him. Everyone else can stay on for now. We'll make the other substitutions. Probably the last quarter of an hour of the game or so. Valencia can come off. Neville can come off. Maybe Ruiz as well. 70 minutes on the clock now. It's been routine for us. I'm happy. Happy with how it's gone, if I'm totally honest. Make the substitutions now. So Frey can come on for Neville. Um, who else did I say was going to be coming off? Valencia was going to come off, but I don't have anyone who could play right midfield. Or left. So he's going to have to stay on, I think. Um, Capana can come on for Suarez. And then we will bring on Sunderland for Ruiz. Swap with Gomez. Nah, it'd be better like this, actually. All the substitutions done. Just got to sit back now, haven't we? Sit back and see what happens. Free kick to us. Booted into the box. Was that back post? Capana's underneath it. As a shot curls past the post, though. Couldn't get the direction on it. I think the keeper would have saved it anyway if it would have been a little bit more in towards the goal. But, I mean, it's an attempt on goal. I say an attempt on goal, but it's an attempt at the end of the day. I thought he was going to go for a long throw then. Good save from Grief. Absolutely brilliant save. I don't know how much he saw of that one. It sort of worked his way into the box, and then he, he f sort of stuck his arms out and pushed it out for a corner. In comes the corner, and we have got it clear. Go on, get the ball. Edge of the box. Get the ball, boys. No, highlight ends, which is kind of what we want as well. Don't want them attacking. Don't want them scoring. I want a clean sheet here. Two clean sheets in this episode would be brilliant stuff. And it is 3-0 winners. Won it in the first half. Absolutely destroyed them. I'm happy with that performance. Um, everyone played pretty well. Valencia maybe wasn't so bad. But it wasn't as bad as the players in the last game that we, uh, that we gave a shout into. And we're into third. 30 points on the table. Two points behind Philadelphia. Two points behind Charlotte. Uh, Cincinnati are two points behind us with a game in hand. But then again, we've got a game in hand in New York City and Orlando and Chicago. So we're doing well. I think we're going to be in those top seven places. So Bruce Shin uh, for Negri, which is OK. A OK -OK for me. Let's look at the schedule then. We have a quarter final tie against Atalanta. Atalanta. Atlanta United. We're not in Italy now, Russ. We're in America. Which. If we get through, we go to the final. I don't know when the final's going to be. Um, can we see a schedule? 
uh, the, so the semi-final is going to be in August, which is quite away from where we are. We're in June, so it's a good two months away. So we'll come back for league games. We will come back for... Oh, we've got to play LA Galaxy, haven't we? Let's do the final two games of July, then. Let's do... Actually, better still. We'll play LA Galaxy, and then if we've... If we beat Atalanta United, we'll do the semi-final. If not, it'll be Nashville and LA Galaxy. So either way, you're going to see LA Galaxy. And just more action of into Miami. So if you guys have enjoyed that, big thumbs up on the video for me. Subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already done so. And as always, folks, thank you very much for watching.